sometimes coffee makes me stutter. And I hate that. Oh, yes, it's almost the end of the week. Clap, you jerks! You're a bunch of jerks if you don't clap. All right, shut up, it's over. It's a thriller of a Thursday. Look who joined us. Yeah, Brian Kilmeade. He's got a new show on Saturdays because apparently he's cheaper than infomercials for non-stick pans. That is not true. It's okay. <laughs> and look who else is here, Dagan McDowell. You can still smell the moonshine on her breath. I hope that's moonshine and she's not drinking hand sanitizer again. Ugh, the things she learns from Kat. So, do you want to know how the media manipulates the news? Well, watch what happens when they become the news. A stunner here at CNN today. This morning, CNN President Jeff Zucker announced his resignation effective immediately. His resignation is stunning in this newsroom and the news industry. It's a tough day here at CNN. It is because this is a huge surprise uh, and it leaves a leadership void. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> They're shocked. They just had no idea, including Captain Donut, whose turf is media scandal. <laughs> so like my creepy baby shoe collection, this story just doesn't add up. Do you really think this is about a relationship between two consenting divorced adults? And if you do, do you mind sharing half of what you're huffing with me? Or does it feel like yet another story created by CNN to dupe everyone else? It appears they already fooled their anchors, the equivalent of peekaboo with an infant. But CNN's the experts on deflection. First, it was Trump and Russia, four years of hysteria, which turned out to be more fake than Kamala's laugh. There was impeachment theater, which kept their viewers busy so they missed the COVID outbreak. And there's the crime wave, something that CNN mocked. To deflect from their culpability, they made January 6th their 9-11. Fact is, Zucker should have been fired out of a cannon into the East River over those huge errors and those tiny, tiny ratings. But they're saying it's about a relationship, which is like saying Al Capone was arrested for tax evasion. It's BS, which stands for <laughs> and Brian Stelter. <laughs> yeah, like he was shocked. Well, maybe he was shocked that a woman would sleep with Zucker, a guy who came in second behind Stelter in a George Costanza lookalike contest. <laughs> When Radar Online was about to report on Zucker's indiscretion, CNN had Stelter run a story aiming to discredit it. And that was a month ago when he called the story garbage and a lie, which sounds exactly like something Zucker would order his minion to do. So he knew, but it gets dumber. The lady Zucker was romantically involved with is Allison Golust, or Go Lust, a senior VP at CNN. Golist admitted the relationship, saying, quote, Jeff and I have been close friends and professional partners for over 20 years. Recently, our relationship changed during COVID. I regret that we didn't disclose it at the right time. So, yeah, it changed during COVID, like it was a symptom of Omicron. <laughs> Apparently, their Moderna jab came in the form of Cupid's arrow. That's almost as real as this great moment in CNN COVID journalism. All right, here it is. The official <laughs> reentry from the basement, cleared by CDC, it was sweaty, just worked out, it happens. This is what I've been dreaming of. Uh, you can dream a lot now. But the COVID thing, it's a lie. Everyone knew about this affair for years. Hell, it was in Katie Couric's book. And like Don Lemon's stupidity, it was accepted. So as I used to say to Steve Ducey when he tried to sell me counterfeit Viagra, I'm not buying it. Not again. The outrage we're hearing about now is just a cover. Like Andrew Cuomo killing nursing home residents but getting forced out for sexual harassment. This was the scandal that was convenient. We know Fredo was secretly using his job to help his brother. And he got canned. And the lady that Zucker was in a relationship with also worked once for Andrew Cuomo. And according to the New York Post, was helping him out now. It's like what we've always been saying about the DNC and the media. They're literally all in bed together. So this isn't about the, quote, affair. It's that Zucker was smart enough to use the affair to get out of CNN on the tail end of some other truly gross CNN scandals. That's clever timing. He looks better. But what do I know? I get all my investigated chops from Scooby-Doo when this whole time I should have been watching to catch a predator. And yet they worry about Joe Rogan becoming more trusted than their pathetic station. Not all opinions are created equal. You think about major newsrooms like CNN that have health departments and desks and operations that work hard on verifying information on COVID-19. And then you have talk show stars like Joe Rogan who just wing it. 
who make it up as they go along. And because figures like Rogan are trusted by people that don't trust real newsrooms, we have a tension, a problem that's much bigger than Spotify. Oh, stop your crying or you'll melt yourself, Frosty. Instead, why not ask America, why not ask yourself why America trusts a stoner more than they trust you? But you got bigger worries. What happens to reliable sources when your most reliable source just resigned? And who's going to protect the anchors as they bleed more viewers than a 50-pound sack of leeches? It's like the network has hemophilia. But it's funny. The guy in charge of media scoops misses the scoop right under his nose. Perhaps he was too busy watching Fox to see what was happening around him. And ignoring the obvious, well, that could be dangerous. All right. Great meeting, everybody. That's it for today. So, Ted, I didn't get a chance to talk to you. Did you do anything fun this weekend? Uh, oh, you know what? I killed both nights. Oh, I didn't know you did stand-up comedy. That's cool. <laughs> no, 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 no. I murdered an innocent couple while they slept. <laughs> Good one. I can see why you're doing so well at those clubs. <laughs> you don't understand, man. I tortured a husband and wife to death. Right. Right, that's good. Um, dude, were you cooking with like raspberries or something? It's like. Oh, oh, uh, no, 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 no. I actually uh, stabbed a drifter on the way here. All right, sounds good, Ted. I'll see you at the two o'clock. No, you won't. <laughs> so, about CNN, a famous man once said, you can keep painting a turd, but that turd still stinks. That famous man was me. I came up with it while I was watching Jesse getting his makeup done. <laughs> to me, CNN is like a decent car that got carjacked. When it's recovered, it's defiled, destroyed, the upholstery shredded, the seats are stained, someone peed in the glove compartment, and the owner wants the insurance company to total it so he could just get something new. That's CNN, a once decent network that got carjacked by creeps who turned it into a conflict-chasing conduit for clickbait. If that sentence had any more C's, it'd be Joe Biden's report card. And like Joe, the brand is a shell of its former self. It's the Joe Biden of networks, old, mean-spirited, and can't draw a crowd, and constantly trying to forget what it just did because it's so embarrassing. CNN, the most trusted name in ruse. I say tear it down, start over, get a new boss who isn't the old boss. I know just the guy. Yeah, <laughs> why not? After all the crap that went down over there, this has to be a step up. Yeah. Welcome to tonight's guest. His new Saturday show lets him ruin your weekends too. Host of One Nation with Brian Kilmeade. Co host of Fucked and Friends, Brian Kilmeade. This Southern Belle went from attending balls to breaking them. Fox Business anchor Dagan McDowell. Her therapist said they should see other people. Fox News <laughs> contributor, Cat Tim. And he puts a red light on his head to warn landing aircraft. My massive sidekick and the NWA World Television Champion, Tyrus. <laughs> Brian, congrats on the new show and finally naming it, uh, One Nation. It, it did take a while. Yeah, it did. It, right. It, glad to see you're hopping onto the populist bandwagon five years later. Right. <laughs> what you know, <laughs> My theory, when well, it's not my theory, it's actually Scott Adams, that Zucker was brilliant to leave now because of all the other big scandals. This looks small, and then it helps him cover up what may else be hiding, what might be hiding. What say you, oh, Fox and Friends muse? Okay, I have a lot. I'm going to yes. go, I'm going to say something gut fellish. Okay. They paid off the refs. They had the home crowd. They actually turfed the field their own way. They tilted the field their direction, and they still lost. Mm -hmm. I mean, they went after. They have all the media that allowed them to do everything. They, they know that everyone's in their pocket. The government's in their pocket, and they still could not keep their act together, nor could they get ratings. I mean, we glance at the ratings every day we compete. If you talk to people on CNN, they don't even know the ratings. Yeah, they're not. Because they, yeah. they have no idea. We have to win every day. That's the yeah. way we're, we're trained. That's the way we're bred. But they're in it, and they don't get close. And now they probably don't want to see the ratings. So he leaves an epic failure. Think about this. He had the Today Show in his 20s. He helped turn it around. Since then, he had Katie Couric's talk show last in maybe one year. Then he went to NBC, had that brilliant idea of having Conan O'Brien take over. And then he panicked, and he put Jay Leno back, and then put him before. And so they go, okay, you're 
destroyed. You lost your reputation. You destroyed the late-night franchise, so go to CNN. And in, in a very short time, he was fixated on Trump, had a moment, could not get off Trump. They still can't get off Trump, January 6th. Mm. And now he failed, and he leaves in disgrace. The only thing I would, I would say is this, is we know a fraction of the story, but he loses the ability to tell his side now. He lost his microphone. But that. But the thing is, is uh, the other reason why he resigned is so he doesn't have to answer any more questions in court. I, I don't know. I'm not a lawyer. Could be court. I do tell girls that at the bar. Right. <laughs> Ooh, I like that. Wow. Did you and just notice that? Tuscanini. Yes. Wow. Um. You know, Dagan. Okay. This is a problem for me. Maybe not a problem for you. They cannot get rid of Stelter. If they get rid of Stelter, I lose so much editorial ah. content, and I can't bear that. What am I going to do? There's only so much Joy Reid to go around. Uh, well, Tyrus tried to counsel you on an earlier show about getting off the stelter teat. Yes, yes. And they're large. They're hard <laughs> to turn down. <laughs> but I think that you might need to, you, you know, you need to work on that over the weekend. Okay. To find another source of material. I, I think, like, why wasn't the dude fired for Ratings. Yes. He's an executive. Yes. He's an executive. <laughs> You're a business leader. You get canned purely for that reason. They don't even have one show in cable news in the top 20. Yeah. So, and you know why? Because they don't program for the viewers. As a viewer, if you turn CNN on, it's like being downwind from a hog farm mm -hmm. or like driving by that paper mill <laughs> on the way to the beach. You're like, oh my God, what is that smell? Mm -hmm. Instead, they program for, well, he programs, or did, by his own ego, and then he, uh, and then the anchors are just there to moralize and sniff his ass or their own asses. Mm -hmm. So, like, what did, what did Allison Camerata said? He had this uncanny ability to make every one of us feel special and valuable in our own way. It's not about you. It's about the viewers. Yes. I could, I could go on, but it's oh. like... Jeff, I, 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 just, I, I have a lot to say. It's like Jeff Zucker, because you do analogies, it's like he was running a sandwich shop that only served head cheese because he liked head cheese. That's a, no, Actually, you're absolutely right. It's somebody who opens a business that sells something that he likes <laughs> and no one else <laughs> likes. Disgusting. It's like, I'm going to open a record store and it's going to be nothing, but I don't know. See, I should have thought about Cheap it. Trick. Uh -huh. Cheap trick. I love Cheap Trick. Right. Right, and that's what I'm saying. That's your record store. I yeah, yeah, you. and it's like I, I may not see anybody for weeks, right. and then some guy might just walk by and go, "Ooh, cheap trick." <laughs> surrender. Yeah, surrender. I remember that song. And then they just leave, and I'm going, "Yeah, that that made my day." Right. No, that's true though. But then it was like, think about it, Tyrus. Stelter is the media watchdog, and he's pretending that he missed it. Do you have any new theories? No, but I have a uh, image in my head that is going to take years to get I out know. of. If, if there's any artists watching the show tonight, if you could please draw me a picture of. Baby Gutfeld resting in <laughs> Stelter's bosom. That would be so amazing. But you got to be a good artist. Yeah, no, you know what? I don't <laughs> think you have to be. Um, I really don't think you have to, but a good artist would be great. But I'm worried about you. Yes. I'm worried about you, you because you, he has been your nemesis. I got to go to CNN rehab. You guys, the tail he's of the tape. Say, he's not going he's, anywhere. He's got you by a few pounds, but you got around the same height. He <laughs> takes those shots. Than me. Well, not anymore. <laughs> you know, I, I mentioned, I walked by your office today and I said, hey. Yeah. Because apparently from inside CNN, they're calling for him to be fired. Yeah. Because they're blaming him. Right. Or it's probably like he was the teacher's pet. Yes. And was walked around, everybody had to be nice to him and yes. listen to his jokes. Because mm -hmm. I mean, if you don't, he's got to tell Zucker on you mm -hmm. and you're going to get pulled from TV. And now Zucker's gone. And all of a sudden, Stelter's in this trouble. Is, I feel like we've yeah. become ESPN about cable news. <laughs> yeah, we really have. He's, he's about to get cut. And I suggest yeah. that you get a small little high chair. Yes. And just have him sit there. And every once in a while, you just smack him on the back of the head. Oh, God, he could be my little Dr. Evil cat. Cat, um, do you have any theory? Did you see in the New York Post, they said that, that there's new information that him and his sucker and his girl were helping, uh, helping the governor appear on his brother's show. That's not surprising. What what is what piques your curiosity? I, again, I just think that there's so much more. There has to be, and I actually don't believe that everyone knew. I think that most people did, but the one reason I think maybe everyone didn't 
is because it's so boring. Right. Like, <laughs> gossip is supposed to be interesting. Yes. If right. somebody came up two to me, right, if somebody came up to me no. and was like, these two people at my work, they're both divorced and they're doing sex. I'd be like, <laughs> yeah. I'd, I'd be like why are you talking to me? Right. Don't ever talk to me again. That is great. That is actually like, if yes. somebody came to you with that kind of gossip, you would say, like, get out of the 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 people are, They're right. adults, they're in their <laughs> 50s, and they're seeing each other. <laughs> How I dare you? Like, did you have a Consent Consensually. Yeah. Consensually. That's not gossip, that's boring. I know. <laughs> well, here's the thing, they had a preservation order. Cuomo's lawyer has a preservation order of text messages between her and the governor saying, yeah, what's going on here? Is she going to say that it was her, right, Allison Galt's idea yeah. to have Cuomo go on with Cuomo? Yeah, and is that is that going to be that, his Chris Cuomo's case? That's small. I have another. It was they were working with little Cuomo to protect big Cuomo, squashing stories. Yeah. Changing the focus, make helping battle strategies. So he's going to make his case worse. He's going to uh, make. I, it's going to be if I'm going down, I'm going down with you. They're yeah. coming with you. He's not going to fall on his sword. All right, he's last, not being afraid of. Take it quickly. Uh, Zucker was going to get fired anyway. I think that's right. Yeah. Warner Media and Discovery are merging. John Malone at Discover um, on the, yeah. the on the board at Discovery doesn't like the way CNN was being run. Number one, number two, this prevents them from the um, paying out the 18 million to Chris Cuomo because they got rid of him. They're like, we're not. Because Cuomo went to AT&T, who currently owns him, and said, hey, um, I I'll rat on Jeff Zucker. Yeah. And they said, we don't care. Buy Zucker, yeah. and now you're not getting your 18 million. You wanted to out. brag about That's doing it. sex. All right. I like All my right. theory. Wait, what better. the hell? Get after it was... Oh, we cat. We gotta make some calls. We do. We gotta, we gotta get Cuomo. But we gotta get them all back. We gotta do an alternate CNN universe, so I can still be happy. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.